So welcome to the Couple to Couple League Peak Day podcast, where we discuss fertility and natural family planning with our friends. Uh, I'm your host, Martha Haney. Today's guest is Sylvia Schmidt, Couple to Couple League Senior Manager of International Development. Welcome, Sylvia. Thank you for having me, Martha. It's an honor being here. I'm so happy to have you. You are just a font of knowledge when it comes to all things natural family planning and fertility. Sylvia, you you uh, teach primarily with uh, Spanish-speaking couples. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. Okay. You are using the the app for, um, you know, the majority of your teaching. So can you talk about uh, that a little bit? Yes, of course. I'd be happy to. Uh, we realize that we need to make something easier for our communities. Hispanic communities uh, in the United States, it goes it's very wide from the doctor and the attorney all the way to the person whose Spanish is their second language because sometimes their first language is a dialect. So anybody in between we teach. So we needed to make something that is very accessible, easy to understand to everybody, but at the same time, our method has been always scientifically based. We always being backed up by the scientific um, uh, proof that mm, NFP works. Yes. Okay, so we developed the course Know Your Fertility, Conoce Tu Fertilidad in Spanish. Course, Conoce Tu Fertilidad, Know Your Fertility is totally based on the application, peak day. Students, the couples who come to our classes, they don't chart on paper any longer. You know, everybody has a cell phone nowadays, husbands, wives. So we took advantage of that and we are trying to meet the, the, Technology, everybody uses technology nowadays. So with their cell phone, we developed this app, Peak Day, and with the course, <clears throat> instead of charting on paper, they are charting on their cell phone. And the beauty of it is that the cell phone, the application Peak Day tells them if they are fertile or not fertile. As long as they put their information every day, they should be, uh, they should be seen in what phases they are. If they are trying to avoid or postpone a pregnancy, they just don't, don't have relations on the, during the fertile days. And if they want to achieve a pregnancy, then they know when they are more fertile. So they, they, they have their marital encounters during those days. So it's beautiful because they don't need to even learn the rule. Previously, they did. They had to in order to understand the whole method. But now, as long as they input their, their, uh, as long as they register their symptoms, their biomarkers, mucus, temperature, many of them do cervix. Big day will tell them you are fertile today or you are not fertile today. It's, I mean, easier than that. The advantage of the application is not expensive. I don't know how much money some people spend on, uh, urine strips, which is fine. I'm not criticizing anybody. It's wonderful that they are using NFP and they're using the way it works for them. I'm just advertising a little bit here with Peak Day because it's cheap. You just pay monthly or you just pay uh, one yearly fee and you can use it the whole year. And besides that, the husband and wife have access to the same information. They just log in with the same login information username, password, and both of them, husband and wife, know we are fertile today. Mm-hmm. We are non-fertile. And, and it's beautiful because that can help them to make the decision. Okay, today, do we want to be together? Oh, we are fertile. Are we open today to a new life mm-hmm. or not? Oh, well, right now, no, because X or Y, Y or Z. Okay, let's just go for a walk. Let's just hold hands today. Yeah. Let's just watch a movie today. Right. And, um, but the app will make all this easier. It's making this, uh, much, much easier for everybody. Actually, students are amazed just to see, oh, it, it's telling me if I'm fertile or not. <laughs> so yes, it's, uh, Conoce tu fertilidad, know your fertility course, 
it's totally based on the application. So it's a, uh, it's a tool. That doesn't mean that they don't understand anything. They understand the mucus, they understand their temperature, they understand that the temperature rises after ovulation. And people who wants to learn more, we guide them through all that information. We tell them the information and they can, uh, the classes go through all those type of charts so they can understand the reason behind it. But some people don't need to understand that, don't care about understanding that, and, and that's okay also. So um, currently PsychoPro Go, the current app is uh, still in use. And uh, the Peak Day app is like in testing and we are like on the verge of um, switching over from PsychoPro Go to Peak Day. Uh, can you tell me how that is going to happen? And, uh, you know, do couples have to worry about their information being lost or having to put in old information into the new app? Can you tell me a little oh, about no, that? No, no. It will be very simple. It will be very easy for them. As long as they keep using PsychoPro Go, they are using it for a year, six months, two years, and they keep using it, the transition will be very smooth. It, and we will guide them, we will send them videos, and if still they have any problem, we'll be there for them. But we don't expect any hiccups. We are planning on, on making this transition as smooth as possible. I'm, I'm actually very excited because if you see the difference between Psychopro Go and Fit Day, even though both of them are scientifically based, are developed by couple to couple league with the rules for phase one, phase three, that couple to couple league have used for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. They are backed up by that. But still, how beautiful Big Day is, how easy to use is, how self, uh, you don't need much explanation to use it because it's, it's uh, self, self-explanatory. So uh, other than uh, how beautiful it is and how user-friendly it is, uh, what are the things that you are really excited about with uh, the Peak Day app? Besides Peak Day, you can use it any time of your fertile life. From the mm -hmm. beginning of your menstruation when you are 12 or 13 years old, all the way to premenopause. All these years of fertile time in your life, any you can it can be used after having a baby, when you get married and trying to avoid a pregnancy or achieve a pregnancy. All these years it can be used. So that I'm excited about that. Yeah. Again, you can share your chart with your instructor. Mm -hmm. You can share your chart with your coach or with your doctor, your professional healthcare provider. So that's another plus. You can just go and tell them, hey, this right. is what I'm having or your coach. So it's the ability to share your charts or your his history of all your charting. Right. That's just amazing. Uh, also, we think that you can com share, uh, you can compare, more than share, compare one chart to the other, to the other, and see a pattern. See the comparison of several charts at the same time, see where big day was, where normally is your big day, where normally you, um, how long your cycles are and all that in statistics. You can see statistics also. The advantage of big day is that we have 50 years of experience that is backing up scientifically this application. Mm -hmm. Anybody can develop an application, right. but no, everybody can have 50 plus years backing up this uh, information on NFP. Yeah. Somebody who's, you know, develops an app and, you know, gets in on this big femtech market um, compared to, you know, couple to couple league where, you know, it's a true ministry to help couples um, achieve or postpone pregnancy and learn about their fertility. Um, don't you think that there's a, a difference in that? 100%. Yes, 100%. Uh, a couple to couple league is an apostolate. It's a nonprofit organization. And the people that work here, 
we are not working for the money. We're working for the apostolate. We're working because we really believe in this. Mm -hmm. And the application is a tool that is helping us bring in NFP to more and more and more couples. Mm -hmm. Besides it, we have the coaches that will be there for you if you have questions. Some apps might not have anybody on the other side. Right. So what a great tool, you know, the Peak Day app will be for women, you know, when they do find that maybe something is not quite right or, um, you know, they have questions that they can bring this history of, you know, cycle recordings to their doctor and to a knowledgeable doctor who can address, um, you know, what the issue might be. How valuable is that for a, for a woman? It's a hundred percent. Yes. The doctors can tell you, I can tell you as a coach yeah. and as a 22 year uh, teacher that when I see one chart, I go to the history. I go to, okay, what happened last cycle and what happened the cycle before and where, where was peak day? Where was your temperature, your baseline, your low temperature level, all those things you look to see a pattern and if that's the normal pattern that this woman has or not. Mm -hmm. um, and especially, I cannot imagine a doctor, a doctor knowledgeable, as you uh, rightly said, Marta, an NFP doctor, uh, a doctor who understands NFP, mm -hmm. that understands what the, uh, that pattern should be for mucus, for temperature. That's, val that's very valuable. Mm -hmm. I know doctors have helped me through my charts. Mm -hmm. I have bring my charts to doctors and they tell me, okay, this is, I, this is what I believe is happening. Let's mm -hmm. check this out mm -hmm. just by looking at my chart. Mm -hmm. So if I, as a coach can tell you a little bit, a doctor can tell you even more about it. And again, it has to be a qualified doctor who understands NFP. Right. Right. How long have you been at this now, Sylvia? <laughs> Well, I took the classes 20, almost 26 years ago oh my goodness. Uh, with my husband and I, we took the classes in English 26 years ago. And that was before we got married. We got married. Six, we started taking the classes six months, about six months before. And I just found amazing uh, that my body was doing what the teacher told me that it was going to do. Mm -hmm. I found amazing that the temperature went up every month. I found amazing that the mucus was doing what the teacher told me it was going to do. Like I never knew about this wonderful knowledge before. And I was already 26, no, 29. So I was already, I mean, not too young not to know these things, but it's like a hidden treasure. It's like that pearl that, we don't know about it. And when we find it, we don't want to let it go. We sell everything we have. And pretty much is what I feel I tried to do. I did. My husband and I, we went, um, we practiced. We start as soon as we got married, we start practicing it first to avoid and then to achieve. But, um, and I knew, I knew since I was young, my mom, I'm the oldest of nine. I'm, yes, I'm the oldest of nine children. Um, and my mom always told me that, that, uh, contraception was wrong, was not healthy, was against the church's teachings. So I, I knew when I was going to get married that I was going to find, try to look for some, form of natural ways of achieving and uh, postponing pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes, and uh, we were very blessed uh, because as soon as we went to the priest who uh, we started doing our marriage prep, he suggested that we, oh, and by the way, there are these classes that if you want to take, and I just opened my eyes and like, whoa, this is awesome. It mm -hmm. was really um uh, providential. Mm -hmm. God put that priest, that pamphlet, that brochure in front of us. And, and then we took the classes. It was, it was funny because, so my husband is from this area. So he knew many people. And one of the teaching couples 
um, his parents, my, my in-laws, knew them. So my husband was like, oh, let's just take the class with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> but it so it's what we did. Yeah, it sounds like Bernie was open to, um, you know, learning the method. And uh, is that right? He, yeah, thank you for asking this question. I find through all these 22 years of teaching and guiding couples that that's important to learn that's important to learn before marriage because see when you are engaged the fiance says yes to everything <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah 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 honey yeah. sure honey whatever you say uh, love yeah. uh and he was okay he didn't mind if that was some he says if it's something that you want to do i'm okay with it Wonderful. And so he was open. And unfortunately, I have found through the years that sometimes I'm talking to women that they want to practice in a fee. And then but they tell me my husband is not on board. So that makes the practice of the method very, very difficult. And I think to myself that if they would have talked beforehand, mm. before they got married about this issue, about these important a subject, which is uh, family planning, is uh, the union between a husband and wife. And talking about these before getting married is very important. So I really advise any engaged person, anyone who's not married, this is something you want to talk with your future spouse before, not after. Mm -hmm. After it, it becomes a little bit harder, right. the subject. And it sounds like it it is key for uh, either the priest or maybe uh, the couple who's doing the marriage prep to, um, you know, suggest natural family planning and to have that as maybe, uh, you know, a natural part of the marriage prep program. Definitely. It's very important. I don't know what would have happened if these priests would have not suggest taking the classes because mm -hmm. I knew I wanted, I knew in my heart that that was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. I knew because my mom taught me that's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. And if I may share about my experience with couple to couple, I have seen uh, even uh, there are dioceses, there are parishes that requires the classes of NFP, the full course of NFP as part of their marriage prep, mm. I think it's very wise. I know sometimes they come just to check the box, mm -hmm. which is okay. It's But they're trying to prepare. They're trying to prepare like becoming a priest. It takes several years to become a priest, to be uh, a doctor. It takes a lot of years to become a doctor. But to get married, it's only sometimes six months or nine months or sometimes even less. And that's a, a sacrament. So I'm all for requiring it or at least suggesting it because we, we have seen, I have seen couples who come to the classes. Initially, they are like, why am I here? Or they are like on their cell phone or they are not. You can tell as a teacher that they are not paying attention or they are kind of paying, paying attention, but little by little after class two and then class three, when we, we start with the whole dignity, you have a uh, value as a human being. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, we end up with the side effects of contraception, physical and uh, spiritual. And they are already open to the message. And many of them didn't want to be there, but then they end up saying, why nobody ever told me about this? I wanted to mention that in our classes, even though the couples come, many come to just check the box, but some of them eventually come back and they say, hey, maybe a year later, two years, five years, maybe 10 years later, hey, I now really wanted to learn. Now I understand the value of, of NFP. And maybe because the side effects, maybe because they feel used, maybe because 
the Holy Spirit, it's uh, guide them to come back. Definitely, many people don't know about the side effects. I had this uh, student t years ago. She and her husband came to my class. They were being married one year only, but they already have five children in five years. Two sets of twins. So, and the priest sent them to my class and they were like very afraid. They were still, when they came to my class one and class two, they were still contracepting. Mm -hmm. On class three, they learn about all the side effects of the hormonal contraceptions. Contraception, like uh, lack of libido, like all the, uh, all the side effects making you feel bloated or each woman is different and some don't have any side effects, but some have very serious side effects. And like lack of libido, it's, is what this woman was having. After seeing all the list of side effects, she said to me after the class, now I understand why I feel the way I feel. How can I work this out? Thanks God. She was, she was like open there right there and then for to try give a try to NFP. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I gave her my cell phone. Just call me whenever you have questions. And I guided her through how to, okay, you need to stop uh, the pill and how to work things out. And initially we talk every other day or maybe, <clears throat> maybe twice a week. And then later it was only once a week. And then later once a month. And later, it was like probably four months before she even called me and she told me I will never go back to contraception because now I feel myself. I don't feel the effects. Now I feel me. Who, uh, so it was awesome. It was, uh, and, and experiences like this, stories like this, we hear often, which is awesome because, uh, it, couple to couple, it is changing lives, people are getting healthier and they are getting closer to God because many of them also don't feel worth. They cannot go to communion. They know that this is an evil, that this is uh, incorrect, that it's a sin. And they go to confession and they decided to stop contracepting. And then they are very happy to be able to take communion. Wow. That's, that's transformative in a way that they could probably never imagine when they sign up for that class in there. You know, Great. Right. Well, thank you, Sylvia. <laughs> thank you, Martha. <laughs> thank you for coming on the Peak Day app podcast. <laughs> thank you very much for the invite, Martha. It's been a pleasure and thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. I'm sure we could have talked about a whole lot more, but um, maybe I we'll know. interview you again. Uh, when peak day is yes up. once it's out once peak day is out maybe we can talk more and how things going yeah absolutely. i would love to maybe some troubleshooting or you know uh, common questions that uh, couples are having so yeah i'd love to have you back on again and um, we'll have uh, alejandra martinez uh, co-hosting so um you guys can uh you know talk together uh, maybe in spanish yes oh that would be awesome <laughs>